Okay, we're going to go to Bruno Mars 777. I'm going to play the first part of this song, and I want we're going to look at the rhythms because I transcribed the vocal melody. We're going to look at that. Oh, melodic rhythm. We're gonna do that again, but I'm not gonna sing this time. Boom, melodic rhythm. Because people are going to ask, how do I, what do I play over this? And I would say that's one way to think about it. Analyze the melodic rhythm of the vocals. So any of the phrases that I wrote out for you guys, those are rhythmic phrases that in theory would work. So let me get this loop up. Let's just do a little bit of that. So the bass line. Something like that. Let me hear it. So we can try that bass line for a minute if we want. Try different bowings. Try slurring versus separate. And by the way, you can record yourself while you're doing this too. show you some of the tricks I would probably use on this first of all instead a lot of times I tell people practice the melody with the bow moving like this so that would be like try if you, if you want to just try that or a, an easier thing would be to do something like this Low physical energy, very little bow staying in the string. If you can't find this rhythm, variation if you can't do any of that just be right here down up down up down up down one two three four one two three four right here 
here. This is where you are if you can't do any of that other stuff. Keep your bow on the string, Daniel. Pressure. But very little bow. There's this other rhythm. Now let's take any of these melodic rhythms from the vocal and let's put it into the guitar comping, right? And so when I laid the loop, I did it like, or you know. So it's the same thing if you want to practice strumming or you want to do something with your thumb. I'm not going to talk about the, all the different ways to do it. It doesn't matter. It's because all it's all about coordination and subdivision it's we want to be able to feel the rhythm and understand the rhythm so whether it's with the bow whether it's off the string whether it's on the string whether it's with the hand strumming it's really we're feeling rhythm we're internalizing rhythm so if we put this into the guitar strum then this first rhythm one two three digga da digga that's the first vocal line one two three digga da digga right so i could do it like that or i could do it like this or I could change notes. Let's try that. Cool. You could similarly you could use any of these phrase any of these phrases. Bar two, one one, two, three. It's on four, right? It's a stab on four. And then you go one, two, three, four. That's that rhythm, right? Yeah. We could use any of these phrases by themselves, but we could also try to play the entire thing. So I'm gonna try to play the entire thing. One, two, three. that last one let's talk so you can keep working on any of that if you want but i'm going to give you more things to work on we are in the key of f major scale the f major scale the f major scale key signature all right so that means one flat now if you want a pentatonic then i would use either g minor pentatonic or d minor pentatonic if you want pentatonics you can use either of those g minor pentatonic or d minor pentatonic okay I'm going to show you what it might sound like if I play over this. And this, to me, 
I, I'm not a historian or anything like this, but this feels an ode, like a throwback to James Brown, right? I feel like it's like a James Brown vibe. So Maceo Parker is the famous saxophonist that played over James Brown, right? So if you were ever lucky to play the funk band like this, not only could you do these all these guitarist things, also horn parts, but you could also, if you got lucky, you could take a solo like Maceo Parker. I'm not going to do the whole solo, but I'm just going to do, I'm going to show you just playing out of F, just out of F major first, which is also known as G Dorian. You don't need to know that, but it's basically out of the F major scale. <laughs> I'm going into pentatonic, G minor pentatonic. This is what G minor pentatonic sounds like. So talking between those two, same, same, this is the same thing what we did at Englishmen in New York. Three choices and you can toggle. Work on your scale, improvise over this tune a little bit. One, two, a one, two, you got it. Play slow rhythms too if you want, you know. Bo -di -do -di -ba -do. It doesn't have to be fast. Same scale. Same scale. this 
for more creative work, like thinking about making different shapes and different structures creatively to develop vocabulary, creative vocabulary, or you can work on rhythm, internalization of scales, right? Internalization of harm. Go back to your scales if you want, and you can practice those patterns if you want. <laughs> Again, you can improvise your bow while you're doing that so that you're always so that you're also working on technique whether that's with the pentatonic or with the scale right whether it's with double stops whether it's with string crossings if you want you can take a few minutes to do that your tempo internalizing the scale with your technique fingerboard one two you got it I already sent you the rhythms, Janet. This morning, about an hour ago. Two hours ago. Cool.